What do you think those 10 years, whatever it was, taught you about the business? Oh, well, absolutely everything. I knew nothing. I knew nothing when I started working at New Line. I was, you know, in my early 20s, I was a grad student, and I just liked stories. I knew nothing about the industry, filmmaking, thinking about market shares and audience and business, and, and it was a very good discipline. I think what it taught me first and foremost is to be accountable and responsible. That as a storyteller, you can tell whatever story you want, but you have to know who you're speaking to. You have to know how is your story offering something new and who wants to hear it. And then to realistically assess how many of those people want to hear this story and budget accordingly. As opposed to some creative artistic entitlement, you know, I've got a great vision and I should be given money like from a de Medici, you know. Rather, hey, this is, um, you're asking somebody to invest in a business venture. You're asking somebody to give you a whole heck of a lot of money to say something, be responsible for that, be responsible to that, and assess it accurately. And I think that that's the, that kind of a paradigm of um, reality-based, respectful consideration of everybody's part, that everybody's working together. It's not like the big, bad money guy and the mean distributor. Everybody's the same goal, to tell stories and to share them with an audience. Now, how are we all going to make that work together and being mutually respectful that everybody's coming to the table with the same goal, different points of view on it? How can we, the more that you understand everybody's point of view, the better off everybody will be and you'll be as a storyteller. So for me, the fantastic discipline that we had that was really unique um, was that at New Line, unlike many other more traditionally organized studios, the... Um, the production division wasn't isolated. The way it worked is that it was more like we were functioning like independent producers within the company. Here's how. So if I had a project that I was passionate about, like for example, House Party, I had to take the project to the guy who was the head of marketing, the guy who was head of distribution, the guy who was head of the ancillary media, DVD at that time, uh, VCR, mm -hmm. uh, the guy who was head of foreign and say, here's the project, what's it worth to you? What's it worth to you? What's it worth to you? How can you sell it? What do you think the audience is? Bring it back and see if that justified the budget. And then you'd go into a meeting with Bob and say, here's my numbers, here's their numbers, does it make sense or not? It was very disciplined. And I got to learn a lot and think like they thought. So it was like going to producer school, which of course is incredibly important as a filmmaker. We don't exist in isolation. I am wildly against the prototype of the indulged artist, you know, who sits on a pedestal and is like a Pasha carried forth, you know. No, we're in this together in a, a collaborative medium where it's very important to understand what everybody is doing, why they're doing it, and work together. So I think that's the biggest thing that I learned. You know, healthy respect 